Hey, what's up everyone? Pretty exciting day today. I have been on the lookout for a Protec Mordax for a while. As a lot of you know, I collect Protex, love Protex. Um, and I well, was kind of thinking it was going to take a while to get one. Um, well, walked into my local Protec dealer today. Just figured I'd see what they have. Lo and behold, there is a Protec Mordax. Um, he told me he ordered six. They only sent three, I guess, because of the demand so high, because you can't find them online that easily. And this was the last one. So um, let's take a few a few uh, measurements here. Uh, as you can see here, closed, it is a little over four and a half inches. Let's say about 4.6 inches. Um, this is not an auto. It is a button lock. It has a flipper tab right there. And the blade, let's see... That measures one, two, three, just a hair over three and a half inches. I'm thinking like maybe 3.55, 3.6. And as you can tell, uh, Protec USA, stonewashed blade. And this is, believe it or not, MagnaCut. I really like that they're putting a lot of MagnaCut. Um, you know, I have no problem with 154 CM. Look at that action. That is awesome. I have no problem with 154 CM, but I was pretty happy when I would buy um, Protex and I have the uh, the 20 CV or um, S35 VN. But you know, getting the Magna Cut in for these prices is you know pretty good. Makes me pretty happy. Now these are uh, just a plain um, aluminum handle. Now there was another um, run of these um, a while back before I really got into into uh, Protex. And uh, was, this is actually a Ferrum Forge design. Um, now this one is black. Uh, most of the ones I'm seeing are black. And I'm guessing that they'll put some blue ones out. Then I'm thinking they'll put some black ones with texture and some blue ones with texture. Then I'm thinking they'll start making the fancy schmancies with, you know, bronze aluminum and, you know, maybe, you know, put some other things on there, like maybe some other pearl buttons and stuff. But I've noticed in, in the relatively short time I've been buying Protex, they tend to make them really, really plain. Uh, I don't know if it's because, you know, it requires a little less work to make, like, machining uh, to have the plain scales uh, rather than, um, you know, how they have the fish scales slash dragon scales. I had heard, actually, from the owner himself in an interview that that requires a little more time in the CNC machine. So um, my thinking is that they want to get some plain ones out first. Maybe maybe satisfy some of that demand because you can get them out a little quicker and, and a little more easily and cheaper so you're satisfying more people. I mean, obviously, I picked this up. Uh, the price wasn't bad, but if you had some, you know, version that had a lot of machining and had a titanium blade and had, you know, mother of pearl and... The abalone and all this cool stuff. Well, all of a sudden, we're going to start going up to a knife that's maybe a thousand or two thousand dollars, and I'm not getting that knife. So it's kind of nice that uh, that we have the plain one. Now, don't get me wrong; if there were you know little niceties that they added along that maybe raised the price fifty to a hundred, that would be pretty cool. But when you start adding a lot of the other things, like you know, like the titanium and and the Damascus blades and the engraving, you know, things get kind of crazy. So. Um, it seems like they tend to go with the plain versions first. I'm not criticizing that. Uh, let's see, pocket clip is, uh, I would call it a pretty darn deep carry, but not really. Uh, you could tell kind of, kind of the way the, the the knife is shaped. I mean, it's pretty deep carry. It's, you know, if you put it too much over, they would be off to the side. Uh, I think that with the with this profile here, um, that's probably the, the highest you're going to want to go with a clip. So I'll take it. <clears throat> and again, you know, the big thing here is is the action of this of this knife. Um, I love my Malibu, but this this makes the Malibu look like a shred. And you, for those of you who watch my videos, you know the shred is my least favorite knife company. And I'm not saying the Malibu is bad. The Malibu is awesome. It's just that this is just so much better. I like this. Um, another nice thing I like is this is this choil here. Nice to choke up. Um, I just noticed there's no jimping there. Protec, what are you doing? You're killing me, man. Especially when you're choking up. Now, if if I were a Protec designer, 
by the way, if anyone from ProTech is watching this, I would love to work for ProTech. So I throw it out there. But I would have put some jimping right over here. Maybe about an inch and a quarter of jimping right there. That would be awesome. But like I said, it's already awesome. They don't need me to tell them how to make knives. And then it's just kind of curves just ever so slightly here. And it's chamfered a bit there on the edge. No hot spots. And like I said, I've got pretty large hands and it fits perfectly. And then you put your hand on that choil and then you got even more space. You could choke up very nicely. And then because it's rounded over there, no hot spots when you do choke up. Definitely some thought from ProTech and the Ferrum Forge guys. This is just like drop shutty. Just so you know, your spouse will probably want to kill you because, you know, <laughs> you keep doing this all night. I, I make my wife go crazy sometimes with that sort of thing. She's going to be in for it now, hearing that thing going all night. But anyway, I uh, just wanted to share that with you. So if you get a chance to check out a ProTech in person, uh, well, the ProTech Mordax, I should say, absolutely check one out. If you don't have a dealer near you and you've been looking for one, um, when they come into stock, definitely take the plunge. No pun intended, you know, the plunge lock and all. Uh, definitely take the plunge. Uh, if you like your Malibu, you will love the Mordax. If you love your Malibu, you will really, really, really love the Mordax. So uh, I can't recommend it highly enough. Of course, take that with a grain of salt because I'm really, really biased in that I love uh, I love ProTech. Uh, I actually love ProTech as much as I dislike Shrade. That really says something. You have a good one. I will talk to you later.